Hello. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Sinwasapa G, Department of English, Karun First State College, Sira, affiliated to Tumkur University, Karnati. And uh, this is my uh, the fourth video session for uh, second sem optional English students. Of Tumpur University. And um, I have been dealing with the, uh, the poem. The Tiger. The previous classes. Uh, I have given an introduction to the poet and uh, introduction to the poem and the central idea of the poem. And in this session, I mainly uh, focus and discuss my views uh, on the poem in detail. Poetry for the second session is for detailed text. It is for detailed study. It is not for non-detailed study. As it is a detailed study, and we have to understand the, the poem thoroughly by reading uh, the poem in detail. And uh, there shall be, uh, as it is a detailed study, uh, there shall be annotations in the poetry and there shall be a reference to context of the lines that should be analyzed and appreciated. And these things are expected uh, in the assessment. So uh, in this uh, session, I uh, speak on the development of the poem in detail. Uh, now the poem begins like this. Uh, now I read the poem, listen carefully that. Uh, tiger, tiger burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hands are high could frame thy symmetry? Read it once again. Tiger, tiger burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or high could frame thy fearful symmetry? The very poem begins with a big question. The poet is not just describing tiger and its beauty, he has a question in his mind. It is a very big question. And there shall be a series of questions uh, that we are going to see uh, throughout the poem. The very, uh, the poem which begins with a question. It is a very lengthy question, long question. That. See that. Here in the line, the poet directly addressed. The poet directly addressed the tiger. That meant he wants to speak with the tiger. And by speaking, uh, is uh, describing at the same time. What he is uh, describing is burning bright is telling. The word burning is a kind of uh, uh, giving as 
a terrific uh, nature. There we feel, kind of feel. This burning myth it is troubling us. And burning bright is still. For a poet, the tiger is uh, burning. What is burning? The sight of the tiger. That is, eye sight of the tiger is burning. Though it is burning, there is a brightness. See how the poet is uh, expressing his views with antithesis. One is a bird, another is burning. The poet opposite. It is bright, means it is giving light to the dark. And burning bright. It is ferocious bright, a terrible brightness. Terrible brightness the poet could see in the eyes of the tiger when he looks at the tiger which is appearing. It is what the poet images himself, how the tiger comes to the forest. And that tiger it is coming from, the poet is telling the context in the forest of night. The tiger is coming at night from the deep, dark, the terrible forest. And in the darkness, uh, the poet could see, or everyone can see the, the bright eyesight of the tiger. It gives a light like a torch, a torch of the hunter. And uh, there will be one more question to the poet is that, that is what immortal hand or high could frame the fearful symmetry? See the word immortal. It is just opposite to the word mortal. Man is mortal. The God is mortal. The poet is telling that the immortal hand that is God could frame, could create such a wonderful animal like tiger, which is very fearful and ferocious in its appearing, the dark, terrible night. Here the poet describes how the tiger is, is mainly focused on the high side. It is burning bright. It is coming from the forest. And the creator who has created the terrible beauty of the tiger is what the poet discussed in detail in the first uh, stanza of the poem. Context explanation of the first stanza. I want to, uh, in the beginning, I, say, I said that uh, there shall be uh, annotations in the examinations. Uh, then uh, yeah, the, the poetry is a detailed study for you. Uh, you should understand uh, the poem in detail in a different context uh, and try to appreciate the poet, the poetic devices. Uh, right, uh, let us see that. There is a direct question asked by the poet Blake to the tiger. Why is such question is before him and what makes him to suspect? Why the poet's mind is haunting over the mystery of the creation of the tiger in a terrible manner? Because he sees the tiger which is burning bright, he says. He is describing the eyes of the tiger are bright at the same time they are burning. In the brightness, there is a ferocious nature in the high side that is blended. That is what he sees. Again, there is a question, uh, what is bright and what is burning? We see the word two words. It is supposed to its eyes. 
it means the heights of the tiger are burning. In the burning, uh, in the burning, uh, naturally it is corrosive and giving more trouble. Kind of uh, fear uh, is affected. Again, the burning guys it bright. There are two things in the uh, in two words. Burning is against the bright. The disease of the poet in the first stanza is going to uh, describe the, the terrible beauty of the tiger and how the immortal hand or high ugly god has created very beautifully by, by filling it a kind of a terrible, a terrible uh, that is the uh, uh, features, terrible features you see that. Here, the nature of a famed tiger. How uh, the poet could, uh, that is, uh, frame that is, uh, is asking that how the, the creator is uh, uh, the frame. The content of the poem is uh, that night. I say that, uh, I tell you that that is the context uh, of the lines. Because uh, in the dark, only brightness can be noted. It is a forest. It is in the forest. Usually, the the forest is dark, uh, even in the day itself. It is very bright because there is a deep forest uh, where the tiger comes out of the forest. Then the poet asks a question: What immortal hand uh, or high could the frame this mystery? He is very much surprised at the uh, structure uh, of the the tiger. Uh, it is uh, manufactured very brilliantly and artistically in the, the poet. Uh, thus, the poet uh, describes uh, the very first stanza, uh, the tiger, which is in Parisian nature. Thank you.